<laughs> Hello, you. <laughs> you you yeah. too. Uh, I don't know how you watch again, this stuff. Again. <laughs> All right, I my I'm Brian. Uh, this is my girlfriend. Um, Hi. She is. We're going to a nice city tomorrow, so uh, no videos. Hello. Saturday. So <laughs> okay. okay. No videos Saturday or Sunday, but I'll upload one on Monday and make up for it. Um. So I have five cards to show you guys today. Again, this is now day four of the collection showcase, and do you wanna in? Inter I know nothing. Dip cars? Sure. Okay. Well, why don't you tell them about this one? Hold it up to the hold it up to the camera. Um <laughs> what's like the name of it? Uh so this is a Fleer Genuine 08 slash fifty. can we see it? Is that a good picture? Yeah, it's alright. <laughs> okay. So What's, it's, what's, it's it, what's, night, in, it what's looks, in the card? In the card is a game used bat, which is pretty sweet. Um, this is when Hank Greenberg was on the Detroit Tigers. Um, I went to Michigan, so I'm all about Go blue. the Michigan pride. So Detroit is right there. Um, so it's pretty cool. The back says, congratulations, you have received a game used bat card. So it <laughs> says congratulations. So that's pretty sweet. It Makes you feel good about yourself. I think you got it. Okay. Right? So why don't we give him, like, a closer shot of okay. it? Okay. So here's the card, right? Um, this one's pretty rare. Uh, it's 8 of 50. You know, typically number to 50, cards number to 50 are a little bit more uh, common than, you know, typically would be. But uh, this one happens to be pretty rare. It's also one of the first uh, game used back cards Greenberg's ever had issued in packs. From 2001. You're so smart. I mean, this is like this is like what I do, so I better know what it is. That's true. What about this one? You want me to go first? Yeah. And so you tell them as much as you can, and then I'll fill in the blanks. Okay. So what year is it from? So this one's thicker than the last one, so that must mean that it's more important. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's from 1940. Right. So it's older than the other one, even though we didn't say what year it was. Yeah, I did. Oh, it did. I said it was from 2001. Oh, I wasn't listening to you. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, so this one's, like, in sepia tone, which is kind of Ooh, cool. Ooh, good term. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm I didn't even know you knew that. Oh, sepia? Yeah. It's like a filter on I, Instagram. Oh, my God. I didn't even know that you could pronounce it the right way. Some people call it sepia. Well, they're idiots. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm glad to know that you're not one of those people. No. All right, good. Um. So yeah, I mean, he is swinging the bat <laughs> very nicely. Actually, it's okay. Well, it's after he swung. Oh, okay, that's okay. It's um, he's watching the home run go over the fence. Oh, because he's so good. He knew he was gonna get a home run. That's right. Um. And yeah, the back just has a lot of words that I'm not gonna go into. <laughs> you have to go on the words. And play ball. It's a lovely card. I, I like the black background. Well, so the original card came in a gum pack. Like people bought a pack of gum, yeah. right? And they had like one, two, or three of these cards put in there. So play ball is actually um, the name of the of like the gum pack. Ah. Or sorry, it's, it's the name of the set. Oh, okay. um, well. I actually don't know what the name of the gum pack is. But anyway. Um, well, so they issued... What's better than gum and baseball cards? I don't know. That's pretty American to me. If you don't like that, you're pretty much a communist. Yeah. So you should probably stop watching right now. Don't stop watching. <laughs> All right. One more look at the card. SGC40. Uh, as Haley said, sepia tone. <laughs> um, and then, I want to show you this one. Looks really similar, Do you right? Do first? Sure, so if you can see, this is now 1941 play ball. And this is 1940, whoa, hold up, 1940 play ball. They use the same image, but they obviously put some, some color and technology into this one. Um, so 1941 grade SUC 50. This is one of the first vintage cards I had bought. Um, 
Only reason this is a 50, it's a pretty clean card. Only reason it's a 50 is because there's a little uh, bit of paper loss here on the corner. You probably won't be able to see it. Um, but it exists, certainly does, and SGC was kind enough to uh, point that out to me. Thanks a lot, bitches. Um, yeah. yeah, so... Okay, so now it's my turn. Um, so I like this card because it's a pretty green color, and it's pretty vibrant. So um, it looks like it's in pretty good condition, and I know that that boosts up the... The value. Of the it. value and the what's the number thing that it's at? The num the grade? Yeah, the grade. Yeah. See, so yeah, I know my So stuff. like so like when so what I was saying before I, I sort of forgot to finish my point that like originally the, the cards came in the pack of gum, but like since like since the release to protect it and preserve it and degrade it, it's like encased in this hard plastic. So it doesn't come out of the pack like with this plastic right. and black background. It just makes it look nice. Yeah, I think that this would be a big gum pack. Yeah, it's a lot of gum. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I like it. It's nice. It's in good, good um, shape, and it's um, pretty colored. I like it. Me too. All right. Fourth card up. I'll talk about this one. Okay. So this is a 1936 Gaudi Wide Pen Type Three. Um, this is the second rarest of the. I believe there are five types. Um, type five actually. Uh, is really not known by many people at all, but actually does exist. Type 3, uh, a bit different picture image and facsimile signature on the front. Uh, that makes it a bit rare. Uh, these cards originated as, um, <clears throat> uh, I guess, like redemptions, I guess, in the sense of the term that you buy, you buy your packs of gum, and then you send them, and then they send you this card. Um... Only, re only reason why this is a great SGC 10 is because, again, uh, four spots of paper loss, someone definitely pasted it into a scrapbook and took it out. Um, but, I, but because of that, I was able to get this card at a great, great price, but it's very scarce. Um, don't really see too many of them auctioned all too often. Um, and uh, I was able to get this one for under 50 bucks, and... I did see at the 2013 National that some guy wanted $500 for the same card and same grade. So, what do you call that, babe? A steal. A steal. Maybe we should hit them up. <laughs> well, for, we, are, we are going to Atlantic City this weekend. For what? So we could buy it from you. No, I don't want to sell it. Oh my gosh. Well, I don't want to sell this. To get mad money. And then do what? But Gamble and get even more money. Oh, no, that's how you lose it. No, but I'm going to gamble. So that's number four. Anything you have to say about this? This is a classic Greenberg. Sorry to cut you off. You, <laughs> I, I obviously had something really important to say. Go for it. Um, but this is a classic Greenberg pose um, that, that you'll see in a lot of the, uh, the cards that have uh, been released at this era. Um, fifth item is not, in, in fact, a card. It's actually a uh, cut signature that was pasted on a postcard. You want to tell them about this one? Why not? Okay. Um, so that's that. So this is... <laughs> okay. So <laughs> this is just a signature, and it says, well, not just. Yeah. August 1947. So that's pretty cool. He has a very nice signature. Doesn't he? That's one of the nicer signatures I have of him. Yeah. Here, let's, let's show him up. <sighs> So it's pretty cool. Um, I don't really know. I don't have that much to say because it's just the signature. I wish that I could sign my name like this. Yeah. We do have half the same last name, so. You kind of do. I'll, maybe I'll copy And, it. like, part, half of the same first name, too. Yeah, that's true. Oh, look at that. You're practically the same person. Yeah, we are. I am Hank Greenberg. <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, so, <laughs> so uh, like she said... Um, beautiful example of a Hank Greenberg autograph, um, and I think it's really cool that it's dated August 1947. Give some background as to when this was probably actually signed. Uh, PSA DNA authenticated, of course. I was able I was able to get this one for a great steal, only like 60 bucks off eBay. Uh, the guy listed it. The listing was just Hank Greenberg autograph, and I saw it and I was like, well, that's a terrible listing, and I might as well buy it so it's not on eBay anymore and embarrassing himself. So. I bought it for 60 bucks. So, ha. Huh? 
So, ha, bitches! <laughs> um, and yeah, I this is definitely one of the nicer autographs I have of him. Nice and flowy and Clear just and beautiful. Well. Clear all the things you want. Good job, Hank. Good job, Brad. Thanks. So that's that. That's that. That's, that's all we have to show you. Yeah. Thanks for listening. I hope that um, he was helpful. I mean, you, you were more helpful than I was. I'm, I'm sure I wasn't, but probably were. Thank you. All Bye. right. I hope you enjoy.